Guys, what's up? It is Doug. Welcome to another edition of Trigger King Tech. And today I want to take a quick hit at a subject, a question that we get asked all the time. How do you guys do those replica bodies and paint jobs of monster trucks? You know, how do you do them? Where do you get them? Trucks like this beautiful Bigfoot racer, as you can see here. So the actual bodies are different. Um, those are all, you know, depend on the company that sells them because we do a lot of different stuff with um, J Concepts, Proline, really whoever makes the bodies, right? J Concepts is popular in our club because they do a lot of the early 90s style pickups, especially the Fords. And, uh, you know, we run a lot of Bigfoot trucks in this club. So like this one here, it's really popular. The paint on this is actual paint, okay? So um, this would not be the best channel to find that. You can find a lot of good uh, videos out there on painting Lexan and articles as well, but a lot of good videos, but um, on how to airbrush or rattle can paint Lexan to get the, the, you know, get the paint style that you want on your body. How we get a lot of the actual intricate things like this Bigfoot logo here and the stripe, um, we actually have a few ways to do that. So you see that racer stripe? That's how we get them, right? They're decals. Uh, same here with this Grave Digger one here, a popular Grave Digger design. But um, JB Scale Graphics, who is one of our club sponsors and one of our racers, John Arnold, um, he actually does a lot of the Bigfoot graphics, like you can see here. These are vinyl printed graphics, and they stick on the outside of the body on top of the paint. So you still have to paint them, but they're created with vinyl. Now, a lot of our guys do different vinyl wraps even. And uh, one of our sponsors here, which if you've noticed in the back of the video here, you can see uh, it's Vinyl Images, WeWrapAnything.com. They do a bunch of vinyl wraps for RC monster trucks. They actually do vinyl wraps for the full-size monster trucks and they scale it down. And what that is, it's uh, basically a big sticker, right? That goes on the outside of a body and you can put them in different um, segments. So it comes together as one paint job. Sometimes you need paint under it, sometimes you don't. But um, as for how they are recreated, they're recreated on a computer. A lot of times some of the really old body styles and paint jobs, of course, there were no computer graphics back then, or they were very limited. So it's done off pictures, traced on a computer, redrawn on a computer, and then sent to a printer, and voila, you have stuff like this. Uh, JB Skill Graphics, make sure you check them out on Facebook. I have the link below here. In the description of this video, I'll also put a sticky post for JB Skill Graphics. They are licensed for all the Bigfoot trucks. I know so many people want to do uh, Bigfoot replicas, and they ask us, how do we do the Bigfoot replicas? Some of them are paint, I should say, too. Um, in our club and just anywhere, we have some very skilled artists. I know Travis Sutton is uh, one of the guys who does a lot of airbrushing in our club. And uh, Sutton Motorsports, I will put his contact below too. Uh, he does bodies for people and they're just a lot of skilled painters, but I know he does a lot of full on airbrush, like 100% airbrush. But a lot of the stuff, especially the Bigfoot bodies are done with decals because we have the decals, we have access to them, so why not? So check out JB Scale Graphics. I know that uh, he can point you in the direction of some other people too that could maybe have some files of some graphics if you're looking for something else he doesn't have or if he can't get them, maybe a painter. Yeah, guys, that is how we do it. Either paint, which takes skill, or decals, which still takes skill, but it's a little bit easier and you can get them from other people. So hopefully that answers the question, guys. Uh, and you know what? If you've got more detailed questions, like I'm sure many of you are going to have, ask them below in the comments. I'll do my best here to monitor them to, uh, to answer as best I can and point you to where you have to go. I do know a lot of people that do different things here within the hobby for replicas who maybe has different files, etc. Uh, just from being around it a while. Um, luckily, I know some good people here within the club too that, that do a bunch of this stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you in those comments and I will see you guys very soon with another Trigger King Tech.